Hey guys, Jonathan here with TLD with a little WWDC coverage. Now for this video, I will primarily be focusing on the redesigned 15 inch Retina Display MacBook Pro because to me, that was the coolest thing at the show. But for those of you guys curious, it did update new 11 and 13 inch MacBook Airs as well. Design wise, they are exactly the same with the exception of the addition of USB 3.0. They feature faster Ivy Bridge CPUs, which in turn give us better integrated graphics and these things ship today. So if you guys want the complete rundown of the specs, those are in the description. They also did a mid-level upgrade to the 13 and 15 inch unibody MacBook Pro. So again, they look like last year's model with the exception of USB 3.0. They retain the optical drive, but they do feature, like the MacBook Airs, faster Ivory Bridge CPUs, better graphics, and again, those ship today. Now for the main attraction, the bread and butter of WWDC, let's talk about the next generation Retina Display 15 inch MacBook Pro. And Apple was throwing awesome feature after awesome feature after awesome feature. And I'm just thinking to myself, holy shit. This thing's gonna cost like four grand. Uh, probably the most surprising and best thing about the announcement is that it starts at $2199. That'll get you a 2.3 gigahertz quad core i7 CPU. You can configure up to 2.7 gigahertz. The Retina display features a resolution of 2880 by 1800. That was me after they announced the Retina Display, but it gets better. It starts out with eight gigabytes of RAM. You can configure it up to 16 gigabytes. They went Nvidia on us this time for the video cards. So you get a GT 650M with one gig of video memory. That's gonna be a big improvement over last year's model. And with Ivy Bridge, you also get the integrated HD 4000 graphics as well. They packed a ton of battery in this thing. So it retains the same seven hour battery life as the other models. Comes in at 0 0.71 inches thin weighs about four and a half pounds. Now, as far as the ins and the outs, they redesigned the new MagSafe 2 port, as they're calling it. It features two Thunderbolt ports, two USB 3.0 ports, the usual headphone and SD card slot, but what is new is they have an HDMI out on the new MacBook Pro, which is really cool to me. They also talked about an asymmetrical fan, which translates to silent operation. For those of you guys who own a MacBook Pro, I'm sure you guys know when you're pushing it, those fans kick up, uh, and that is probably my biggest gripe about a MacBook Pro in a desktop environment, is that it gets really loud with the fans. So if they eliminate that, I am sold. So thank you guys for watching. If you're feeling like being awesome, make sure to hit that like button. If you guys want to support the channel, check out the best tech deals of the day. That link is down below with all the MacBook Pro specs. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, make sure to do so by clicking right here because I will have tons of new Mac coverage, unboxings, reviews, all that good stuff, and I will see you guys later.